guys welcome to my channel if you're new here so am I my name's Heather this is my first YouTube video ever um, I wanted to basically sit down and make a YouTube video about my weight loss story and how I lost the weight um, I've been getting a lot of questions and comments from family and friends and I just figured this is the easiest and fastest way to do that and there's my cat um, you'll see a couple cats in my video. I hope that doesn't bother you. Anyhow, let's just jump right in. So the first thing I want to start out with, know that I am not a professional in any way. Um, I am not a dietitian, a nutritionalist, a personal trainer, or anything like that. Um, I am just a normal gal who lost 40 pounds in six months and I just figured that it would be something nice to share. So if you're interested in videos like this, um, weight loss transformations, journeys, weight loss stories, anything to do with health and fitness related, if you're interested, please subscribe and stick around. So let's get started. So basically I'll give you a history of my weight. When I was young, I was always healthy, fit. Um, I was never overweight. Um, when I got into high school, I danced, I cheered, I played sports, I was very active. I didn't always eat the best, but I definitely wasn't overweight by any means. It wasn't until college when I really started to pack the weight on. Normal people get like the freshman 15. I ended up getting the freshman 30. <laughs> First two years of college, I did not do anything. I was not active whatsoever. Last two years of college, my junior and senior year, I ended up joining um, the dance program and I ended up getting my dance minor. And while doing that, I lost about 20 pounds dancing because I was very active. Um, however, I was restricting and I was doing fad diets constantly. I used to consider myself a yo-yo dieter, so I was always um, going up and down with my weight. I was always on a diet or off a diet and that's basically why my weight has always been up and down and I've never been able to keep it off. Um, not to mention, I did not know how to keep off the weight. I was always just basically doing whatever um, trendy diet was happening at the moment. After college, me and my boyfriend got engaged and we moved and we moved out of state away from family and friends and I got a little bit lonely, depressed and sad and so I gained all the weight that I had lost back, plus some. And so after that, I was constantly trying to lose weight. I was up and down, always on yo-yo diets. Whenever I would come home for the holidays to see family and friends, always dieting. I was, they always wanted to know whether I was dieting or not. I ended up gaining 40 pounds while I was pregnant. And um, after having him, I was still 40 pounds overweight. I wasn't only 40 pounds over like my BMI weight, like I was already overweight when I got pregnant and so after being pregnant I was considered obese. I was the heaviest I had ever been. I was hurting all over. Basically what I ended up doing was reaching out to a friend that I knew was a beach body coach and asked her what can I do? Joining and becoming a beach body coach. Um, if you want more information on that leave it in the comments below and I can make a dedicated video on what it's like to be a beach body coach. Um, but anyway, I did lose weight. It just wasn't enough. I was still overweight. I was still sluggish. Um, I was still restrictive. I was still kind of on that yo-yo trend. It hadn't fully like lifestyle change hit me and I was still gaining weight, losing weight, gaining. But it wasn't until months ago actually, I lost 40 pounds in six months and it has changed my life. The best thing I could say that helped me, um, I think the thing that really changed was my metabolism and that was because I started weightlifting. I ended up getting um, a gym, I ended up getting a personal trainer and started weightlifting. That changed everything for me. So I have 10 tips that can help you hopefully lose weight or can help jumpstart your weight loss journey. So number one, make the choice to make a change. And for me, that meant I had to sit down and have a conversation with myself. I had to say, listen, listen, Linda, <laughs> my name's Heather, but listen, you cannot do this anymore. This is not healthy for you. This is not healthy for your son to watch. I told myself that I was going to make a change. And for the first 
change I was going to make were little baby steps because I knew that in the past if I had gone cold turkey um, it wouldn't last. I would basically be restricting myself to the point where I would want to binge and if you want a video, um, a dedicated video on restricting and binging, definitely comment below and I can do a de dedicated video on my experiences with that. However, um, back to this, I knew that I needed to make small baby changes, lifestyle changes so that it could become a lifestyle change. Um, so I set little things like, um, you know, one week I was no candy. The next week it was going to be, you know, cutting out pop, cutting out chips, no more fast food. Um, those were the small changes that I started out with. Number two, set a goal and not just one goal, but multiple goals. So for me, I set a long-term goal and I set, um, a lot of short-term goals. So for first, my long-term goal was to lose 50 pounds and my short-term goals were to lose five to 10 pounds every month. And it was nice to have short-term goals because I always felt like once I uh, reached that, I was succeeding in some way. Even though I hadn't reached my long-term goal, I was still reaching short-term goals, which made it the world of a difference. Mentality-wise, um, I felt like I was succeeding in some way. So number three is be consistent. This is such a big one. Be consistent. This one was really hard for me, and you know, it's, it's a daily struggle, obviously. Um, it's a life long change but um for me being consistent meant that i was going to consistently go to the gym i wasn't going to over um exceed myself and work out to the point where i would burn out but i was going to be consistent i was going to work out you know monday through friday and i was going to give myself the option of rest days saturday and sunday and if i felt like i wanted to work out on sunday like go for a jog with my dog then that's what i would do but i knew for a fact that i was going to work out monday through friday no matter what and so far after six months i've kept that and i've been on vacation i've been back home visiting family um there's been life stress that's happened in my life but i have not let that stop me I went to the gym at the hotel when we were out of town, you know, things like that. You just have to make work. You can go on a run outside. You can do a few push-ups or sit-ups indoors when you, right before bed, you know, be consistent. Make sure that you do it. Make sure that you have a routine set and you're going to do it. Number four, don't compare yourself to others. Stay in your own lane. Focus on yourself. Don't worry about others. You'll get there in time. Okay. Number five. Don't give up even if you're not losing right away. So this one was really important for me because um, the first two, maybe three months in, I my weight loss was really slow. And it was really hard for me to like wrap my mind around and mentally. I was like, you know, what's going on? Why am I not losing weight? And in the past, when I had done fad diets, I definitely lost weight like super quickly, very fast. However, it didn't stay off. It, it was really hard at first when I started weight lift as my metabolism was starting to like get back on track and it was working. I was gaining a little bit of muscle. I was definitely losing fat. At the time I wasn't realizing and I didn't know it because I was, you know, stepping on the scale and seeing a number and it wasn't, you know, going down. So just remember that if you don't see a change right away, don't give up. Don't just get discouraged. Just keep on at it. Number six, no fad diets no fad diets and that means don't do any of the trendy things that are going on right now no do what's right for you don't think of it as a diet think of it as a life change a long-term lifestyle change um and that's something that i've struggled with in the past i'd say like oh well this is a lifestyle this is something that i'm doing as a lifestyle but in the end i was restricting and that's really hard to do as a lifestyle it has to be something that you can you know attain long term. So for me, I eat balanced. I'm a balanced diet eater. Like I eat, you know, I eat carbs. I eat vegetables. I eat fruit. I eat bread. I eat, I eat everything. I don't restrict anything. I'm now eating in moderation. So I'm not binging on the things I used to eat. So if I'm going to have, you know, pasta, okay, have a small bowl of pasta and, you know, a lot of veggies and a big salad. 
because if you just eat a giant bowl of pasta, that's not eating balanced, that just means you're eating a bunch of carbs. Eating a balanced diet, no fad diets, eat something that you know that you can withstand and attain for long term. Number seven, exercising and finding out what works best for you. So I would always just go run, you know, run my butt off on the treadmill or on the elliptical. And those things are boring. Those things aren't fun. And that's something that I burned out really quickly with. And now what I really enjoy is spinning. I love going to spin class. It's a group class. It's so much fun. I know people there. I enjoy it. Um, it's hard, but it's, it's a lot of fun and it definitely gives you results. Um, I like it because it's dark and they have loud music and they, you know, they have lights that are, you know, flashing and stuff and it's just so fun and you don't feel like you're in a workout class. It's just fun. Um, another one that I really enjoy is weightlifting. In the past, um, I always thought it was a man's thing. It was always um, something that I steered completely clear of. I was actually like scared to go in the weight section, um, but now I absolutely love it. I lift lightweight at high reps. And then afterwards, I like to do a hit, which is high intensity interval training. And for that, I get on the treadmill and I basically sprint and then walk and then sprint and then walk. So that's helped a lot for me. Another thing that I really enjoy is running with my dog. Basically, finding out what's best for you, what you enjoy the most, what exercises give you that um satisfaction and what makes you feel like you're going to want to come back and do it again. Number eight is get yourself a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or some type of exercise tracker that you can use. Um, for me, I use my Fitbit. Um, I absolutely love it. I never take it off, honestly. Um, the only time I take it off is to shower or charge it. Um, I've had it for six months and I love it. It's nice because it reminds me not to be sedentary. It reminds me like okay, I watched an hour of TV and then it'll be like, hey, you need to get up and walk. And I'll be like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's really good for that because a lot of times people think that, oh, I did one workout. I did an exercise. I worked out at the gym for an hour today so I can do nothing the rest of the day. Well, that's not really gonna help you lose weight. That's not good long-term. Um, definitely get a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or something that you can track and it will help you with your heart rate, how to monitor that. It'll, it, it tracks the exercises that you do. It's just very enjoyable to have because it's a good reminder. And honestly, it just keeps you motivated. Number nine is ditch the scale. So for me, it was really important to stop weighing myself, um, especially in the beginning, uh, the first three months. Uh, like I said, I um, put on a little bit of muscle. However, I was losing fat, but going on the scale was so discouraging because it either the number didn't change or it may have slightly gone up and sometimes that's devastating when you're trying to lose weight and you see that you're gaining um so just remember that just take measurements um think about how your clothes are feeling how they're fitting worry about those types of things versus the scale basically like i said ditch the scale don't worry about it and maybe come back to it for a few months down the road um, it's a great tool to use, but in the beginning, I would say just ditch the scale. And last number 10 is take progress photos. This was really good for me because I could see before and afters. Um, something that I struggle with, and I don't know if others do, if, if you do, definitely leave it in the comments. I've struggled with reverse body dysmorphia. You know, you look at yourself and you see something different. In my mind, I see myself skinnier than I actually physically am. And that can also be very um, hard mentally because you can't visually see yourself in the correct way. And especially if you've lost weight and that's really hard because you don't see yourself losing the weight, if that makes sense. Take progress photos. It'll help you so much in the long run. And you know, it's just good to share and to look at and keep them for yourself. Most of the photos that you've seen here on this video, um, I'm not smiling in and I don't look my best, but honestly, they weren't for anybody but myself. I wasn't honestly planning on sharing these things until just recently. Those are all my tips, my 10 tips for you. I hope that they were helpful. I hope that this inspired you in some way um, to make a change. I hope that it was something that you made you feel like you can do it too, that you're not alone in this. And if you enjoy videos like this or um, other videos 
I'm fat dieting, working out with a personal trainer. That's something I'm going to be doing um, in the near future. I'll record that and film it for you guys. What it's like to have a personal trainer. What it's like to start weightlifting um, for the first time. Things like that. Definitely leave the comments below that you want to see. Like the video, share it, please subscribe, and I hope I see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye!